So, it's long overdue that we look at volleys in this video series, but volleys are simple, right? Jeremy, hit me a ball. So easy, I don't even have to take the microphone off. Right, that's it for volleys. Look forward to see you on the next video. No, I'm just joking. Um, but volley technique is actually a lot simpler than a lot of people think. What makes it difficult is the position of the ball when you volley, and also your position. The ball could be travelling at any sort of speed, height, could have different spins on it, and the direction of the ball is going to vary a lot as well. You could be hitting the volleys from right on top of the net, or perhaps from as far back as just behind the service line. It's all those variables that makes volleys tricky. And of course, you've got less time to react when you're volleying, because the distance between you and the ball is shorter than, say, when you're in a baseline rally. But let's go back to the bit where I said that volley technique's actually quite simple. All you need to hit the volley is this, your shoulder. And all you need to set it up is a small body turn. Let's have a look at Mike Bryan, one half of arguably the most successful doubles team in history, and he's hitting some volleys. See the small body turn to set up and how the shoulder drives the movement of the arm and racket forwards to the ball. Making the swing too big is a common mistake when volleying. A great little drill that you can use to sharpen up your volleys is this one that I'm about to demonstrate with Alfie. Notice how we use that small body turn to set the volley up and then use the shoulder to drive a short compact swing for each hit. What about one-two rhythm on the volleys? Well, it's definitely there, that setup phase with the small body turn and the hit with the shoulder. But we wouldn't use the same descriptive terms as we do for one-two rhythm on the ground, ground stroke drives. There's not enough time for a smooth and deliberate setup phase, and the volley swing is far too short and compact to need that energy and explosiveness. Let's have a look at that one-two rhythm, though, with Alfie's volleys, and also notice how he split steps in between each volley. When you're doing more open drills or trying to volley in a live match situation, that split step becomes crucial. Do check out video 14 once again for a full explanation of split steps all the info there is applicable to volleys too, in both singles and doubles. So let's now look at some volleys being played in a live match situation. So if we slow it down, have a look how Harrison hits his serve, takes one step into the court and then goes into a split step. The split step landing shown by the yellow circle. Then comes a small body turn to set up, followed by a short compact swing forwards to the ball, driven by the shoulder. Here's another point, this time a tougher volley that allows Harrison's opponent to also move forwards. He keeps moving forward though and does another split step. This time Harrison's volleys weren't good enough and Jung is able to finish the point with a volley of his own. Check the setup with the small body turn and the shoulder ready to drive the swing forward. Also look to see how Jung even has time to do a small split step of his own before setting up. Uh, so finally, just to say, there will be some times where you don't have time to use your, your shoulder for the volley. Maybe the ball's being hit right at you, or it's just coming too fast. In those situations, just using your hand will do. Have a look at uh, another example with Mike Bryan. See how the hand and a little bit of forearm take control of the shot. The best way to find a good volley grip is to shake hands with the racket handle. Here's a close-up of Zeki's volley grip, the ITF junior who featured in our last video. That's it for today. Why not get out there and work on your volley technique? 
Before the end of the project, we will also be looking at drop shots, drop volleys, slices and smashes. That's all to come. But for now, look forward to see you on the next video.